Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have live show match action coming at you right now on MLG Shakur's Plateau. Effort and Niter, teammates, good old friends. Effort, a phenomenal player here. And Niter, a very, very good as well. He feels like he's off his game, though. He's just telling me in a chat between games here that, um, you know, that he felt like that, uh, you know, he's feeling a little bit off his game right now in this evening. He said he was doing really, really well earlier today, but just kind of got into a funk here maybe a little bit, but that's okay. And he's one of those guys that can pull himself out of that on the fly. It's not like it's one of those things that lasts for days and days and days like what does with me. I get into a funk course. I've been in a funk ever since I got StarCraft, and it has not stopped since. What can I say? But that's all right. It is going to be PvP here. Effort going to be playing his Protoss race. Now, Effort, I think, his main race is usually Zerg. I remember correctly I can't remember maybe we'll check but it's turning into a best of five I said best of three but it looks like we're gonna go best of five and effort going for a little bit of pause action <laughs> oh goodness <coughs> Uh. <laughs> funny, funny. Cool, so these guys were kill kicking it in Skype there for just a moment, but uh, it looks like they are no longer anymore. It is going to be effort up here at our top left position. They are in cross positions here on Shakuris. Knight are going to be our yellow Protoss down here in the bottom right. So far, so good. Standard openers, it appears. Looks like Effort going to be going for a wall off here, of all things. Going to choke that down a little bit, it appears. Not bad, that's for sure. Wow, sniped. <laughs> cool, so Effort picking up an early kill there. Looks like Knight are going to be cruising in, or Effort rather, going to be cruising in here. Wants to see what's going on. Does see the timing is going down here for Knight. Knight appears to be just slightly behind on his gateway, but that appears to be intentional. Looks like slightly different timings all the way around. Just slightly different builds. So we'll see if one of these guys is going to go for a four gate, and one probably going to go for a three gate robo type of build. We shall see. Or maybe even a blink build. Those can be fairly effective on this map. But it does come down to timings and scouting. You've got to scout very, very well if you're going to do something like that. Niter tossing down his Cybercore in great time. Notice that Effort did beat him to the punch there slightly. All in all, though, not a bad timing for Niter. Looks like just one gas so far for Effort and one gas so far for Niter. No, oh, maybe. Wait. Oh, oh, somebody going to take the gas. Looks like somebody was going to take the gas there. Not going to happen. Huh. Knight are going to be tossing down two gates here. He's got double gates and his cyber core about to complete. Chrono's going down on the warp gate tech on the field. About to be a stalker for both players. Both of you guys working on him. Looks like effort slightly behind on his stalker, but only by about a half a second or so, so not bad. Cybercore re warp gate tech here for Niter still a little bit behind Effort, but Effort not Chrono boosting out right now, so Niter can potentially catch up there. Notice that he is Chrono boosting his very, very well. Looks like Effort needs to get back on top of that Chrono, I think, for his Cybercore, unless he's got other plans, which indeed he may. He did grab his second gas, so it could be that he's going for a three gate robo here. Now, notice that Niter did grab his second gas as well. So, two gates so far, though. So we could see a two-gate expand or something of the like. Those tend to be fairly effective. Any more. Robotics facility it is. So two gates and a robo thus far for Niter. Effort. Just going to be working on two gates for just a bit. And a Twilight Council. Interesting. So we'll see what he's going to get here. Maybe it's going to be DTs. I doubt it. And probably... Oh, well, I, I just don't know, to be honest. But uh, let's guess at this point... Since we do have to take a guess, let's guess Blink Stalkers. I don't know, maybe you can go for Charge. Charge can be fairly effective. We've seen a lot more people using Charge in PvP these days. Effort outclassed here. And on not on A move, so he's going to lose his Stalker because of that. Brutal. Knight are now going to be pushing forward here. Get this Effort actually decoying it a little bit here. Looks like. 
That's actually not a bad play. Decoy just a little bit. Twilight Council not researching anything quite yet. Got to get more than just a couple stalkers here. Three stalkers though gonna be in fairly decent shape. Looks like they are gonna be able to take these guys out. Effort not microwing though. Oh no! And Knight are gonna be taking a yet another kill down and is gonna back out. Beautiful play. Looks like Effort now getting out a sentry on the field. Does have his second gate going down as well as a forge. Interesting play. And there it is. It is going to be DTs. So he did take a little bit of a beating there at his ramp. But uh, Effort, all in all, could have a potentially nice build here. Forge going to be going down. Looks like Knight are going to be gearing up for his expand. He's got this sucker down. Got about 25% complete here at about the 7 minute mark. 7 and a half minutes. Seems to be in fairly decent time. Twilight Council going down here for Niter as well. See what he's got for us. Blink it is. Interesting. Here comes your scouting observer, though. Is he going to scout it? Looks like he may. I think he did see that. Let's just check his vision. Yeah, he sees it. Absolutely sees it. Knows what's headed his way. He's going to have plenty of... <laughs> going to have plenty of detection when the time comes, so... Notice he's going to be working on a couple observers. Here comes a single solitary DT. Looks like another one slightly behind. But these guys not going to make it to the bank, unfortunately. Here comes the detection and no damage. Almost no damage dealt by that DT. So looks like Effort going to have to transition. Notice that he did grab his expand slightly behind, obviously. Nighters, but all in all, it's not bad timing here. Just needs to be careful as he transitions. Probably going to play fairly defensively. Notice he's chrono boosting his forge here with nothing in it. A little bit of a mistake there. Twilight Council working on charge. Charge, I think, is a pretty good upgrade versus blink, to be honest. I like it quite a bit. I mean, it's not perfect, but, I mean, what else? What is perfect against Blink? I mean, Blink, if you've got good Blink micro, it can carry you a very, very long way. And uh, Niter is one of those guys that does have good Blink micro. But the charge is going to be chrono boosted here for just a little while. Looks like a big probe transfer here for effort. Going to be working on some more units here, but here comes your Blink Stalker push, and Niter serious about making this happen right now. And uh, should be in fairly decent time. We do have one DT on the field here but uh, wow only a photon cannon two dts couple stalkers couple charge lots charge not quite complete yet but it should be complete here momentarily good blink micro there gonna be blinking out of the way we shall see how this is going to go but niter does have a forward pylon here looks like he is going to be pushing this attack further getting a couple more blink stalker warp ins and should be cruising up there momentarily effort uh, with a little bit of a supply discrepancy he's got to be careful moving forward units tab going to be part of the problem he's only at 33 probes 242 but here comes your attack nighter going to be cruising in there with blink stalkers does see quite a few dts well he may not have seen them they were invisible but he probably saw he was probably looking for him looks like oh here comes your blink and effort ready and waiting up there beautiful play good force fields going down he's got to get this arc on in play where's this guy going there we go there we go looks like Niter is gonna have to evacuate here but all in all a nice little defense there from Niter I mean the effort doing a pretty good job looks like he may continue this attack though he's still got this observer in position to do exactly that an effort trying to figure out whether he wants to be on the high ground or the low ground. It is now the high ground where he wants to be. We can see Niter blinking up there to the high ground. Going to be sniping this forge. Oh, sniped before the uh, upgrade does complete. Too bad. Yep. What can I say? What can I say, Tiny Spider? Got to be careful. Effort in a lot of trouble here. He's got to really, really get his micro under control. He's got to probably even potentially split his army here, which is not a fun situation because 
he is already at an army disadvantage and splitting him means even more so for just a moment <clears throat> but this is so many blink stalkers right now he just doesn't have tons of choice and that mobility is really going to be brutal robotics facility now on the way he's going to get out an observer here in just a little bit going to be pretty smart move there Back up to the high ground. Effort trying to get up into space here with these Archons. Archon's going to take out a couple, but that Blink Micro yet again coming into play so very well. And those Blink Stalkers just doing so much damage right now. Units Lost going to show and indeed Niter behind there, but not by too much. I mean, he's still holding on in pretty decent shape here, but you notice that the supply count is getting a little bit out of control there. And Niter. Going to be securing his third base. Looks like it's almost up and running here. About ready for another blink attack here, I assume. Keeping a couple units down here on the low ground. Nice little stall tactic there from Effort. I like that he did keep that army split there. I think it worked in his favor there very, very well. He did lose that photon cannon, but that's not that big of a loss. And uh, one or two zealots, but... I mean, all in all, what can you do at this point? The, the mobility of these Blink Stalkers is really difficult to deal with. So. Did take out the pie, the Scouting Observer there. That's really going to be helpful. But Niter now with a whole bunch of Stalkers. They do have no upgrades quite yet. I assume he will be working on some here momentarily. Where's his... Uh Forge. I don't see it. No forge for Niter apparently. Here comes the attack yet again. Effort really got to be careful. He's got to get these guys into a little bit better position. There we go. That Link Micro once more coming in so very handy. Yeah, I would like to see some Immortals. A tiny spider calling for Immortals there. Crying for Immortals, he says. Link up to the high ground one more time. Looks like that's a very, very big force here. 148 supply. Niter's really been warping these suckers in. He's been so cost-effective with them, not letting them die. And uh, here comes that attack. Looks like he's going to be continuing to push it here. Link him back up to the high ground. Couple units here for effort, gonna be cruising down to the low ground. Not a bad little play, but all of his forces on the high ground did go down, so now you've just got a bunch of Archons that are out of position. And Knight are really gonna be in great shape here. And yeah, he's cruising up here. Just getting whapped away by a DT, but man, there's just so many stalkers on the field right now. We can expect a GG from effort, I think, just about any moment here going to be so very difficult to hold this off and Niter going to be backing out here strangely I would like to see him just go ahead and push this attack take down the economy of his opponent there one of those things though but he is going to back out for some reason maybe he's just uh, oh he's, he's waiting for an observer that's what it is he got all of his observers DT going down there and now Niter is going to be cruising back out does also need to wait for uh, some, you know, another forward pylon or something like it. Here comes the attack. Looks like Niter's serious about making it happen here yet again. Good couple observers here for effort. He's got to be super active, though. He needs to have more attacking units, and he's... Oh, I just don't know, man. Pretty far behind, I think, at this point. Oh, sniped! Good job, Effort. Took down that Observer for Niter. <laughs> Gonna deny Niter. Cruising up to the high ground there that time. But Niter in just such phenomenal shape right now. 161 supplies. Floating a lot of minerals right now, but you know what? That doesn't really matter at this point. He knows he's way, way ahead. And he's just trying to figure out how is the best way to end this cleanly, I think. Gonna be some blink micro here as they cruise up to the high ground. 
or the middle ground, I guess. <laughs> well, having a little trouble dealing with these uh, DTs here yet again. Gonna be working on, I assume, another observer. Yep, there's another observer in the army, and guess what? It's also gonna be some Coloss. These guys are going to. These guys are going to cruise over there. Just a moment. Looks like uh, Effort going to try and head out first, I guess. <laughs> oh, trying to get the snipe on that observer, but the observer not going down. And that looks like game. Jares the GG from Effort. Beautiful play there. Thank you guys for coming out. Game number two will be headed your way. Here momentarily, so don't alt tab. Always alt star cup. See you guys then. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, that loaded fast. I almost missed my cue there. I was hoping it would load just a little bit longer so that I could finish uh, dinking around on the internet. Getting my stuff set up. Looks like we're set to go, though. It is going to be game two in this best of five. Niter and effort battling it out here. And it is game two on Shattered Temple. Ooh, not bad. Close air positions. We'll see how that's going to go, but it is PvP. Notice that Effort going to be spawning as our red down here at the 6 o'clock position. Niter as yellow up here at the 8 o'clock. And we'll see how these guys are going to proceed. That last game, very, very interesting play. Effort did start to get behind there fairly quickly at, their, at the early game. I mean, just two stalkers sniped. That quickly made a huge difference. And then Niter just being so cost-effective with those blink stalkers really made the game for him. I like it. Good stuff. But Knight are going to be starting with a fairly standard uh, pylon here, and Effort can be going for what I assume is going to be another choked wall off there, kind of like what he did in that last game. See, it tends to like that. I'm not entirely sure why, but it is what it is. Looks like he's going to try for some scouting as well. Not going to find his opponent here, but knows where to find him now, I can tell you that. Knows where to find him now, and off he goes in that direction. Looks like a scout for Knight are going to be cruising out as well. Checking up here for any proxy. Ha ha ha. Smart thinking. Smart thinking. Going to be checking for the proxies. And effort cruising in here is going to see the timing. So see the gas and the gateway going down in phenomenal time. Back here at effort's base. Gateway gone down. Gas as well. Gas slightly behind his opponents there. But gateway not too far behind. That's for sure. He's okay. He's okay there where he's at. But both of these guys gearing up to be fairly standard openers. Yeah, and Tiny Spider on the live stream talking about the uh, proxy locations. Oh my goodness, yes, it can be so annoying. Irritating is the word he used. Absolutely true. Looks like Effort did evacuate his scouting probe. He's going to cruise up here. He does have his cyber core going down in a fairly decent time. Good mining on his first gas, second gas on the way already. The Niter is still on just the one gas, but going to be working on his cyber core as well, slightly ahead of his opponent and tossing down a hidden pylon. Guess where? In the back of Effort's base. You guessed it. My goodness, you're smart. And uh, that is going to be very interesting, especially if Effort does not scout it. So he's got to be careful moving forward here, but double gas. Going to be fully mined here for Effort. Got to be working on some more economy as well. Tossing down a second gateway with Cybercore complete for him. And going to be Chrono boosting out Warp Gate Tech. Guess what's going on back here at Niter's base? Same deal, just slightly ahead. But just the one gas. So I think we could guess on a four gate here for Niter. He's only got one gate out right now. So we should see three gates go down here momentarily in a line. Is probably where we will see them. One, two, two, and three. One, two, three, and he didn't put him in a line, just to spite me. He puts him in a triangle. That's all right. I don't mind. It does not really matter. Looks like a three-gate robo here for effort. However, he is going to have to put in a little bit more effort with his scouting. He's got to know that there is a pylon in the back of his base that is going to make things a little bit more difficult as he moves forward. So three-gate robo, you depend a lot on your ability to block the ramp early, early for against a four-gate attack. So, um, yeah, you got to be careful. And if you can warp in units into the back of your base, well, guess what? Yeah, exactly. You guessed it. It means trouble. Looks like the cyber core here for effort going to be going down. He has supply blocks here, however. And that is a not super fun position to be in. Notice that Niter, he does have his probe in a forward position as well. Could be ready for 
any type of four pylons momentarily but here comes your first round of warp ins it is going to be all zealots zealots going to be difficult to deal with here effort does catch wind of this though in fairly decent time not bad just cruising up there to the high ground Reese pulling his probes there fairly quickly looks like these buildings are not going to get unpowered however they are working very very hard at it interesting there oh turning around and killing off probes here comes more zealots though effort not quite supply blocked here but he's got to be careful just zealots is going to be difficult to deal with here he's going to have to do a lot of kiting now it can be done but you've got to keep kiting got to keep kiting that guy is going to die if he does not kite faster and wow effort in a lot of trouble right now a lot of trouble here comes four more zealots these zealots all over the place we're killing off the economy of effort so very quickly Knight are taking this down. Wow, in phenomenal time. What a nice looking four gate. And that is game. Next game will be headed our way momentarily. Don't alt tab always alt Starcraft. See you guys in just a bit.